Thanks, Jared. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D looking kind of paw print. So what you need for this little art project is colored oil pastels. Uh, a lot of the color, most of the colors, uh, the colors we need today are black, uh, light purple, light brown, kind of red brown, uh, peachy, each kind of color of my skin, kind of, uh, and a light green. So those are the colors we'll be using today, and we'll be, again, drawing, I'll just show you it again, uh, a 3D conference. Um, it's a beginner's thing, but it does it has to do with a lot of shading, so you can rub it. There's these oil pastels. Try to get the chalky kind of oil pastels, not the uh, oily kind. They're chalky kind of. So, yeah. Kind of chalky. So, you first you're going to start off with your uh, peach color. And you're just going to draw a big circle. Like this. So, yeah. Then you're gonna start shading the circle in, not a lot. So like this. And we will be using this a different technique later to blend this. So it's like a messy circle. So then you're gonna rub. It is ready. I'm going to rub it in. Add a little more of the soap you need to. And then rub it in very well. Okay. So you should get a circle like that with the things rub it. If you don't, it's, it's a little more pastel. Yeah. And then just rub that in. See, the technique here is rubbing. So, I'm just going to rub it. So there's that. So now you have your rubbed in circle with the peach. Next, you're going to get your red kind of brown color. Uh, it's a bit more brown, kind of looking red. So, yeah. And then you're just gonna lightly color that color. Just kind of just big, kind of dark circle looking thing. You're gonna rub it in, rub that in, a little more, rub that in. The key is just to make it look a little darker. kind of looks like a dirty circle now. Uh, so now that you have that, you're going to grab your peach again, and you're going to make a circle on the side. Like so. And you're going to shade that in. Sloppily like you did with the circle. Like that. And same 
idea. You're gonna just darkly shade it in like so. And just rub. Now, if the paw print looks natural to you, uh, look at the difference between those two. If it looks natural to you, you do not need to use the brown. But I choose to use the brown because it just looks a little darker to me. I like the dark, so. Well, I like the dark color. And <laughs> add a little brown. See that little bar? Rub it in. But I like to add just a little brown to make it a darker peach. So, yeah. like a peach kind of color with uh about the things. If the line look I you can see lines, it kinda looks like a barbecue. Uh just really rub it in. If it doesn't work it's okay. Uh, this one actually has a few lines on it that I could rub in. It's fine. It look it'll look fine. If you don't like what it how it looks Go over it with the peach color or the brown color, and it'll kind of mix it in. So, you get rid of those little things that you don't like. Probably. So, rub it all in. There. So, now they're a little less noticeable. You can barely see it back here, but yeah. So, it makes it a little less noticeable, but it's still noticeable. Not, if you're looking for it, you'll see it. If you're not looking for it, you won't really notice. Anyway, so back to the drawing. Uh, take the peach again. Oh, wait, we forgot one thing. Uh, the, take your dark red brown, and with the circles that you didn't do with your brown yet, just do your Z's, or whatever you like to call them. I like call them Z's. So there's that. Makes it look darker. And so, yeah, it'll, you can see the line still, so I'm just going to rub over it with peach. It'll make it a little less noticeable. Oh, remember 
bit of shade. So, or not shade, rub. So you have your whole paw print done. The whole paw print is done now. So that'll, that's pretty good. Now you're going to take this color. It's a green. And you're going to take the green and you're just going to... Able to do it on this pop print or 
this part here, right here. So it's an ideal middle shading, but you could notice it. So, yeah. So, so back to Oh.